So Pebble is a smartwatch. I'm wearing Pebble Steel today. Um, it's been around since uh, the Kickstarter campaign. We started in 2012, $10 million raised when we were trying to only get 100,000. That means that we turned into a, a, you know, a pretty serious startup pretty rapidly and had to make 90,000 watches to meet the Kickstarter backers and turned that into a business and launched at CS this year in 2014, this watch, which is a metal version of uh, our original plastic watch. What I was hired for is to basically uh, run communications for Pebble. But I'm also the company's spokesperson. And so, you know, I go to the conferences and do the, a lot of the talking for the company when my boss and the CEO founder, Eric, is not available. And uh, thankfully, I don't do it all by myself. There's a few people helping out. And so that's, in a nutshell, what I do. I was uh, a reporter in the tech media and tech blogging before I joined Pebble. I worked at Engadget, which is one of the biggest technology blogs in the world. One of the things I learned as a reporter is that as long as I have an internet connection and a laptop, I, I can work anywhere, anytime. I think that there are many jobs today where really all you need is some sort of uh, internet device. Keep the communications going, like use Skype and Hangouts and other technologies to have that face-to-face -face when you're not physically face-to-face. -face. And that's how I do most of my work. And I think it's, it's true of most people today. It's possible for a lot of people today. I think the best thing you can do is build relationships with people. And to, to do that, what worked well for me was you know, blogging, creating uh, a voice for myself online that people noticed and eventually that got me to know people who know people who knew people and it just built up from there. If you can come to conferences, get invited, volunteer. There's a lot of plenty of conferences you can volunteer at that you don't doesn't cost you anything. Uh, if you can attend, you'll meet some interesting people and you can build these relationships because ultimately everything that I've ever done in my life has really been built on relationships. Certainly, yes, I did learn the skills of being a computer programmer, you know, and, and but a lot of it was self-taught. There is very little I learned in school that was actually practical to my everyday life and my job later on. Also, keep in mind that your career is going to change. You're not going to stay in the same field forever. You're not, it's not like in the old days when your dad worked at the car factory for 50 years. Like, look at me, I went from a software engineer to a reporter to now a, an executive at a company who basically runs communications. If you hadn't asked me five, 10 years ago, I, I would have not been able to predict this at all. Keep your ear to the ground, keep your eyes open for opportunities. And when you're given an opportunity, uh, t take it. Like even if you're not 100% sure you can succeed. Because if you fail, you know what? You learn something and you move on. Just be humble about it. Uh, and then you'll be, a, you'll be a better person. I think that's kind of my, my you know, my takeaway is just, just go for it.